Judge White has completed his placings in the Melking Shorthorn Junior Two-Year-Old Class. Would the junior exhibitors please take a step forward? Our second place junior entry is Landsbrook Chippewa, shown by Monica Landsgard of Landsbrook Farms, St. Olaf, Iowa. Our first place junior is Reedon Akers Jr., shown by Jacob Baker of Homeworth, Ohio. Our production award winner is Purple Idly RR Ziva EXP ET. At two years and two months, 70 days in milk, she produced 4,200 pounds of milk, 3.7 percent fat, 155 pounds of protein, and excuse me, uh, I will correct that production record, 4,200 pounds of milk, 3.7 percent fat, 155 pounds of fat, 3.0 percent protein, and 126 pounds of protein. In third place is Landsbrook Chippewa, shown by Monica Landsgard of Landsbrook Farms, St. Olaf, Iowa. The second place winner is also the best bred and owned in the class, Mapleton Valley Aladzina, shown by Mapleton Valley Farms, Oconomowoc, Wisconsin. And in first place and best utter is Reedon Akers Jr., shown by Jacob Baker, Homeworth, Ohio. Congratulations. And now to our judge for his comments. Well, really a good and quality class again here. And I think we have an easy winner in this class. Uh, she not only excels the class in udder, she's got a beautiful four udder attachment. Teeth placement's very correct on the udder. She's a very long, well-balanced cow with a good hard top. She has a good openness of rib. She has that balance from front to end, from the front to the rear end here that we're looking for. And beautiful hide wide rear udder, and I give her the advantage today. Being a little smoother in the four udder attachment than our uh, nice, tall, long dairy cow coming out here in second. Second cow out over the third cow today is, is we're in the futurity just a bit more blending of the four rudder attachment on this second cow than the third. Third cow is a cow we moved up just a little bit, a cow that's got a lot of sharpness and dariness and angularity to it, and her dariness and angularity and sharpness that puts her over the cow and forth that has a beautiful high wide rear rudder just a bit over bagged. I'd like to clean this cow up a little bit and get her a little higher in the class. But with the advantage she does have in her height and her width of her rear rudder and her balance throughout, she goes over the big cow coming out here in, in uh, fifth today. Fifth cow and over the sixth cow, cow's a little harder out over her top. She's a little wider through the floor of her chest. She's a cow that shows a little more definition of seam up through that rear rudder, and today she's uh, just a little more a nicer cow out on parade than the cow here in sixth.